All right, moving on with the content browser. Now, here on the left-hand side of the content browser, we have the source panel. This allows us to control where it is we're looking for a particular asset. Are we looking inside of a certain package, inside of a group within a package? Are we looking inside of a custom collection that we've put together? It also gives us access to the ability to create new packages and import assets into the content browser so that we can uh, create our own objects. Now, starting at the very top, we have the All Assets button. Really, this is kind of like a reset button for the source panel. So if I've already positioned myself inside of a particular package, if I click All Assets, that jumps me all the way back out to the top level with all of the assets available within UDK. Very, very straightforward. Moving down from here, we have two collection sections. We have Shared Collections and we have My Collections. Now, Shared co Collections can potentially be shared between uh, your entire team and my collections are kind of like a uh, private group of collections for only your particular workstation. Now, there are some of these that are already included within UDK, and you can check them out. We have like cool ambient sounds, uh, building meshes, unreferenced assets, and really you can just click through any of these and just see what's inside them. Now, creating your own collection is very, very easy. Let's say, for instance, I'm just going to start off here and click on all assets, and right here we have these cool textures which allow us to see the different types of maps that we can play. Let's say I just want to put these in a collection for some reason. I'm going to come over here to my collections and you could do this in, in shared as well. They work exactly the same. But I'm going to click on create a private collection and let's give this a name. Let's call this screen images and click OK. And there we go. We have a collection currently has nothing in it. If we select it, boom, it's totally blank. Now let's click on all assets again. And what I'm going to do is select this first Texture 2D for Deathmatch. And right here next to my collection, there's this little tiny plus button. If I click on that, it adds that to my screen images collection. Very, very easy. If I want to make multiple selections, I can click on one, hold down Shift, and click down here at the bottom, and that selects everything in between. And we can add those as well. So now eight things have been added for a total of nine, which we can see here. And if I jump back out here, maybe into a specific package, and I'm looking at stuff, at any point I can go into that collection, and I can see these objects. Now, this is not, this is not basic. This is not like a duplication. Uh, it's not like we have an entirely separate copy of these assets here inside your collection. It's just a referencing system. It's a way that you can take groups of assets that you like and put references to them, kind of like pointers inside your own little collection so that you can grab those assets at any given point. But you haven't moved the asset, you haven't made a copy of it in a new package, or anything like that. Now you can remove from a collection as well. So if I come in here and I right click on one of these assets, from the little pop-up that appears we have remove from collection, and that'll just drop that right back out. So let's go ahead and just remove everything. So hold on shift, select all these, right click, remove from collection, and then, let's say we're done with this collection, we're never going to use it again. So over here in My Collections, we have a little minus button. We can click there, destroy this collection, and it tells you it can't be undone. So let's go ahead and click the Destroy button, and it's gone. So we have no more collections. Now, these collections can be moved around, so we can kind of resize these. So if we need more room for any one of these panels, we can do that. We can also collapse them if you use the little triangle right next to the name. So if you just want a lot of room for packages and you're not going to be using collections, just go ahead and collapse them. Get them out of your way. Now the packages area allows you to click on a specific package. If you want to look down inside of it, you can also expand the package by clicking the triangle next to it and see any groups that may exist inside that package and you can jump directly into those groups if you so desire. So it's a way to kind of step through the hierarchy of assets. So you have folders, and then you have packages, and you have groups within those packages. And really, this is just a way to narrow down where you're looking for something. If you have a package selected inside this panel, you are only going to be able to locate assets within that package. If you want to look in everything, remember you need to jump all the way up to your All Assets button. Now moving down from here, we have the New button. This will create a new asset, so we click on New, and we get some interesting info we got to fill out. We can choose a package for this new asset, whatever it's going to be. So we can call this My New Assets. And what group? I don't know. Let's say we're going to make, uh, well, we have an anim set selected. So let's do anim sets. And what name? This will be My New Anim Set. 
Then, because because I already typed in atom set, we don't have to change this, but any other type of object we want to create is going to be available right inside here. So, I mean, I could say, well, actually, I wanted to make a material, and then maybe I'd want to change the group name to materials. When I'm done, I can go ahead and click OK, and that will create a brand new package called My New Assets, a new group called Materials, and here's my very own material that I've just created. So now I could double-click that, open up the Material Editor, and start working with it, if I so desired. Now next to the New button, we have the Import button. This will import a new asset. So if I click on this, this allows me to bring in uh, such things as textures, which you can see come in a variety of different formats. We can bring in sounds, like in WAV format. We can bring in 3D meshes, say in the ASE format, or skeletal meshes. A lot of different things that we can bring in and import. And as soon as we choose something, it's going to give us a, a very similar window where we can choose what package it's going to be in, what its name's going to be, etc. and so forth. So this is how you're going to bring in external objects for use later in your own packages. Then if you have a package that is saved outside of your default folder structure, such as not actually inside the UDK installation, you can open that by clicking the Open an External Package button right here at the bottom. And that's just going to allow you to search your hard drive for some other package that you may have loaded up somewhere else and start grabbing assets from that. So very, very straightforward. Now, that is a walkthrough of our source panel. Again, really, the only thing I really want you to remember, if you forget everything else I talked about, just remember, this allows you to narrow down where you're searching for an asset. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.